What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. I'm Jeff, and this is Experimental Perception. Now, I have been stuck at Orange Belt for far too long, so today I'm taking on this Master Lock 911. Now, this lock is a green belt level lock, but to get my green belt, I'm going to not only have to pick this lock open, but also break it down all the way down to the pins. So, the plan for today, pick this lock open, show you what's inside, earn that green belt. Stick around. Now what I have for you today is the Master Lock Model 911 DPF. This is a 54 millimeter laminated padlock in a weather resistant shell. It does have five security pins in it. This particular lock has five spools, although I have seen some that have four spools and one lightly serrated pin. This does make it very resistant to raking. I have yet to rake open this lock. I don't know if it's even possible, but it does make it very easy to pick open. This lock does have a very stiff spring, which gives quite a bit of resistance when you try and turn the core. So if you have problems with this lock, I suggest using very light tension when you're opening this lock. Now, I am going to be opening this with top of keyway tension with a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Starting with pin number one. Little click out of one. Moving on to two. Some counter rotation, click on two. Three, counter rotation, click on three counter rotation, click on four, and counter rotation, click on five. Let me go back to one. I might have dropped a pin. One fill set. Got a little click on two when I touch two. Let me lift him up again and got an open. Now, to open this lock and get the core out, it is held in by a screw inside here. So let's get that open and get to this core. Come on out. Maybe. There we go. All right, this is the core. It is held on by a little retaining clip. Let's see if we can get that off. All right, there's the retaining clip. Got a follower. There we go. Now, as you can see, this core is actually pinned for six pins, but they only put five in it. So let me dump these out now. There's one. It's a standard pin, two, it's another standard pin, three, another standard four, and finally five. There we go. Now for the core. See if I can get these out without losing any. Whoops. All right, the first one is a standard spool. I'll give you a close-up of these in a minute. Moving on to two, it is another spool. Three, it's another spool. Get out of there. Four. It's another spool. 
And finally, five is another spool. And then we have lots of springs in here. Make sure I got them all. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Let me just arrange these and I'll give you a close up. All right, there we go. Let's see if I can get these in camera here. So we have one, two, three, four, five standard key pins and one, two, three, four, five standard spool pins. In any case, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed watching me earn my green belt. Hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until then, I'll see you next time. Oh, if you want to see me put this lock back together, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, how in the world does this thing go back together?